Good evening, everyone. This is Tech Sergeant Mackey. I'm at the top of the valley in the Conneaut Creek overlooking it. Uh, and I am about to do a video that I really need your guys' help on. This is one I definitely need your vote on. We are going to be testing a couple different flashlights. Some people have put down that they said my flashlight needed to be brighter. And this is my base one. So we're going to go over uh, a couple flashlights. And I need you guys to vote. And I will say pros, cons, cost, uh, and my opinion. But I need your guys' opinion to it as to what you see in the video. Okay. So we're going to hike down here. And... Uh, this is literally at the end of my street here. Uh, and it's an area where I say we see a lot of wildlife. We may see something while I'm down here. We may not. But we're going to test some of these flashlights. What I have on right now. This is my base flashlight that I've been using for all my videos. Uh, 4200 Loom. Power, power Tech. Uh, Warrior. And uh, this flashlight is not cheap. It is, it's an American made one. The other two that we're gonna be testing are not. They're made in communist China. It's one of their cons. Okay, but this is a, this has been my flashlight I've been using. I think it, it's bright as heck. It goes pretty far and it has done everything in advertise. It advertises its life span or its uh, use on the, the battery on high is uh, that it'll last uh, an hour, 23 minutes. And I have tested that and it's literally let, it went on high, you know, even a few minutes longer. I think it went an hour, it's a little slippery, an hour and 45 minutes one time on the full charge. Uh, it says 4,200 looms. It's an American made PowerTech Warrior. That's what we're looking at right off the bat. And I got two other big flashlights in my hands. This one is small. And I'll try to show that to you here. Okay. And this guy has been, I think so far, has been a very good flashlight. And so I got to set the camera down to do the other ones. But we're going to overlook the valley. Again, uh, this is one, this is a, area this is my neighbor's backyard that feeds the deer so we get a lot of deer back here uh, so far i see nothing but we're going to test these other ones out i was playing around with one and uh was already impressed with it it is cold out here tonight i gotta say that right now it's 40 degrees not much wind but it is foggy 40 degrees wind chill at 38 it's supposed to go down to below freezing tonight. Yes, uh, April 24th, going to go down below freezing. That's life in Northeast Ohio. It pretty much rained all day too, so everything is soaked. But don't worry, the Weather Channel said it didn't rain at all here. So, um, it is very quiet, not much wind, which is the way I like it. Ooh, I got stick break over there. There goes another one. See, it's unexpected. You never know what you're gonna get back here. Okay, let me set this down on an old tree stump. You guys hearing that? Holy crap. That sounded like a cat fighting, almost uh, bigger. That might have been a bobcat. Crap. They just scared the heck out of me and I can't see anything. Okay. Wow. Woods are active back here. Okay. Okay, so I can't even put the camera down. Holy cow. Okay, 
So I'm gonna turn on this next one. I got this at Radio Shack. $70, it is from Communist China. Uh, it claims it is 10,000 looms. Oh, I got the eye shine down there. Dang, I gotta set stuff down. And we got, a, we got a something going on back here. I don't know if a bobcat went after a deer. We got stuff going on down here. They had a high shine for a minute. Okay. It is foggy out. So that is going to affect the distance. But this power tech claims to go um, claims to go 50 yards and I think it extends actually goes beyond that wow dude the woods are freaking creepy I got sticks breaking over here are you guys hearing any of this sounded like we had some sort of feline wigging out And I had eye shine for a second. Uh, right back there, I do got some eye shine. And we're gonna have to try and zoom in. Okay, I got it zoomed all the way. I got the eye shine straight ahead. I can't even like switch flashlights yet. Okay, so this is still the power tech. And I got more sticks breaking over here. What the hell? Okay. So looks like we got stuff going on all around here. Hope you guys heard some of that. I'm gonna try to move over a bit. Okay, and uh, so this other one I said I want to turn on a, uh, this claims to be 10,000 looms, that's what his claim is, it costs $70 from Radio Shack, it's a Lippo, okay, and uh, we're going to see how that is, and I'm gonna click off the power tech. That's pretty bright. It says it can you can focus the beam. And I have to get. That's pretty bright, but it doesn't seem. I don't know. What do you guys think? Right off the bat, this one or the and the power tech. This one says you can focus the beam by twisting. I'm gonna twist this down and see this one claims that's twisted down as far as it does narrow the beam down it claims to go out to 600 feet okay which would be like two football fields when it's narrowed um, it says a hundred and 160 feet when it's at wide it's pretty it's pretty good But I don't know. Uh, I'd actually say my power tech is a little better. Okay. I don't know if that's as bright or not. Okay. So I'll, I'll, it is awkward to kind of widen it out and mess with it. Okay. So apologize there. I had to. Okay, so that is its wide view. It definitely doesn't penetrate as deep into the woods as the power tech. Right off the bat. Sorry, I do have the camera a little high there. Uh, I got the camera on a on like a selfie stick right now to try, so that I could try to more easily manage handling different things. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the power tech because that's my base one. Okay. So that you can compare. Ooh, I got that eye shine right over there. Again. And I 
Okay, so it says 10,000 looms. I got eye shine straight ahead of me. And I'm pretty sure I still got the, uh, yeah, I do got it focused in all the way because I did want to try to catch that. And that may have not been good for the test there. Let me get it back to one. Okay. So let me try that again with this. Because I don't think that was, because I had it zoomed in. Okay. Let's click this off. Okay. This is this Filippo. And I'll put these in the description. Uh, what I'm, which flashlights I have. Okay. This definitely doesn't penetrate as far. Uh, a little bit awkward. One of the things I like about this one, though, it's big, clunky, heavy. It reminds me of the old mag lights. Uh, this can be literally used as a self-defense weapon. Well, it doesn't uh, penetrate as far into the woods. It, this has a pretty wide view, though. It, and it does, it does about what it says it does. 160 feet is what it's saying. I'd say that's about right. And um, let me try this again here. I want to give them a fair test. The woods are active tonight. Okay. That was weird, that cat. Okay. So this, you have to tighten it in, which is awkward. And it says it's supposed to go out to 600 yards or 600 feet. I got to say no. It doesn't quite do that. And I would, I'm wagering to say it's not 10,000 looms like it's claiming. Okay. It's pretty bright, but there's literally zero chance that this is 10,000 looms. Okay. But, you know, I mean, it's made in communist China by the commies, so they lie a lot anyway. So, um, I guess that's what you expect. Let me put the power tack on, oh, man, and you can already see the difference. Okay. Okay. Heck, because I can't really see anything behind me. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this sucker on behind me. So that got a light behind me because I can't see anything and it's creepy down here. Okay, so this is the power tech. So Filippo or power tech. My uh, the power tech definitely penetrates further into the woods. I think it's brighter. Okay. I think that other one would be pretty good in the dark if you were out at like a campground or out camping. Not bad. Uh, again, the power tech is the most expensive one, though. When I'm holding this one, this one, I mean, I got a promotion code from Cameraman Jack, which put it down to $115, but its base is like a uh, $135, and it's the American made one. Okay. So now we're gonna go over to this other one. It's built as a spotlight. Okay, get it in front of the camera here. Bright sight, it's called. It is a, a plus on this for me. It's in my favorite color, multi-cam. Okay. Um, this is built as a spotlight. It's got some kind of weird handle thing on it which I'm not sure what that's for I think maybe for propping it up setting down and you can screw something into it on the top I have no idea what okay but this is the spotlight claims to be hold your horses now this one is 4200 looms the power tech this one claims to be 300,000 looms okay now I was playing with this one a little bit okay and it says it will go 1,600 feet. Okay. I don't know if it goes that far, but it does go pretty far because I literally got at the end of my street, which is 1,000 feet long, and it could shine from end to end of my street. That's 1,000 feet. So it does go pretty far. 
and without further ado we're gonna click on now this one's spotlight so it is designed more for point area and click off the power tack okay right off the bat I can see that this sucker does go farther into woods it claims to be 300,000 looms I don't think that is because it's a spotlight it's a narrow it's a much more narrow beam but yeah it does go pretty darn far back there it goes farther back than the power tack but in a smaller a smaller uh, range okay smaller cone of light I should say but I am impressed that penetrates pretty darn far back into the woods okay not bad um, so like literally you can um, it is kind of cool where you know I don't see our critter that had the, the eye shine over here So I could see for some for some areas darn stick in my way. Okay. This could be pretty cool because it can get farther back there. Okay. It's just not wide. It isn't, it is not adjustable. Okay. Not adjustable. But pretty good beam. Um I'd have to say there is no way that that is 300,000 looms when you see what 4,200 is. Okay. But this is definitely for a point. If you needed a point target, this would be pretty good. Uh, whereas the other two seem to cover area. The power tech goes deeper into the woods than the the other one, uh, but also covers kind of the wide range. So I'm not sure how this would be hiking because it is pretty narrow. And some of this you need a, a little bit of a view on to kind of... focus here. But yeah, that goes that goes back quite a ways. I'm in, I'm in, I'm impressed by that. However, I am definitely not impressed the way it shows up on the camera. I think that would probably not be too good for videos. It might be good if I like had an exact area of eye shine and I was able to put this on it. Okay. This is a, a Walmart special here that was $35, okay? So for $35, not bad at all. Um, weird, all the darn sticks I had breaking over here. They're quieting down now. Um... So I don't know what you think about this for searching and for a hike. I think it could have advantages. A, a con of this, definitely not a self-defense weapon. This does claim if you drop it in the water, it's gonna float, okay? Which I guess if you had this out, kayaking might be a benefit, but um, um, it definitely couldn't be used for self-defense. Uh, it reminds me of a toy G.I. Joe type thing that you would get, but it, it definitely works a little bit better than a toy. Uh, but it does feel... It does feel like it's from Walmart. Okay. This one is also made by the Communist Chinese. Uh, if you're getting this, if you're sensing a tone that I don't like China, you're correct. Okay. Um, so, anyway, I'll move on. Um, again, so, this was like 
$35 and not bad for $35. Okay. That second one there that I got over here, the Filippo, that was $70 and kind of a disappointment. It still kind of works pretty good, but it doesn't work as good as it says. There's zero chance that is 10,000 looms. Okay, so now that we got this on, let's get the power tack back on. Some of the other things about this is this claims it will run on high for like three hours, claims four to six hour charge time from empty. The, the flippo here from empty says eight hours to charge. Uh, power tech will charge from empty. Um, it will charge from empty in about three hours. Um, and again, I've done that before. I've run this thing. I've run the power tech completely out. Okay. So I would say as far when they say it goes goes out 1600 feet, I'm going to agree. I'm going to say that's true advertising. Is it 300,000 looms? Well, I don't have I don't have a loom tester. That like costs a lot of money. Um uh, I would still say, I'd say it's bright, but uh, it's definitely not 300, 300,000 looms should literally be blinding light up the forest. Oh, we got eye shine, got eye shine right back there. And it's hard to see probably because I don't know how good this spotlight works with the camera. I had it and it's gone, moved away, but I was picking up some eye shine with it. So I don't know um, how that'll do for videos. Okay, power tech. This does also have the settings. You can set it lower, which is literally worthless. Um, I'm not sure why you would want to. Okay. So this, if I walked uh, down the path there, it looks like a night where I would probably find quite a few animals. It is wet and cold <laughs> so I don't know uh, and we're testing equipment right now to see what to use so I would say looking at this to me power tech is um, the brightest overall However, um, the bright site will go further in the forest, but will go at a narrow, narrower beam. Okay. Bright site is uh, without a doubt the least expensive, the most budget friendly. Okay. And the power tech is the most expensive, but I will say this power tech has done everything advertised. Um, so um, the Filippo Plus, that thing is, it's 1.86 pounds. It's literally like a brick that you could take someone's head off with. Which, as you know, I kind of like that kind of stuff. And it's longer, so it could be, you know, it does extend your reach out in a self-defense situation. Um, it will brighten up an, a smaller area. Um, but I don't know if, um, it is, uh, worth $70. Okay. So this, and we're gonna set these two up here. Okay. Okay. So I do want to ask, because this does have this little thing where you can set it up like that. Okay. And we'll take the power tech away. So, power tech, that bad boy. Bright sight or flippo. Again, $35 plus tax brought it out to close to $40 at Walmart. 
Filippo Radio Shack, $70. Okay, and PowerTech ordered directly from the company, uh, which I got with a discount. I got it at $115. Uh, they did ship it to me for free. Okay, so let you guys decide. I'd like to hear your opinions on this. What do you think? Uh, I definitely could annoy my neighbors more with this, uh, um, with the bright side, that spotlight. That could easily, let's see, I'll take that away so you can see those. Yeah, that could be fun, putting that through a neighbor's window. If I felt like annoying them. Okay, I keep hearing noises around me. And my neighbor's got these little poles up here that have reflectors on them. Okay. So. I guess, uh. You guys tell me, uh, PowerTech has seemed to do, seem to have done pretty darn good. Uh, I did check with Power with PowerTech to get one that's brighter. Uh, these are not cheap, and I guess because they are good quality and they're American-made ones, PowerTech is a um, the next one up is four hundred dollars. But it literally, like, it says 6,000 looms, and I would wager to say they, uh, if it's six, they say 6,000, probably because it is. And their top flashlight, which is called the Destroyer, PowerTech Destroyer, uh, is 9,500 looms, but it is $800. And you realize the nice gun I can get with $800? Or the nice camera I could get with $800. So I have to get something. If I'm spending $800, it better shoot in some fashion, whether it's video or, or bullets. But just for a light, I, I couldn't justify $800 for a light. I'm sure it does everything it's advertised to, just like this one. But um, either way, of these three, um, let me know what you think. I'm hearing more noises over here. Dang, man. There is stuff moving around over here like crazy. So one of the things I am trying to do, I'm working on, I'm invest, going to be investing in a better camera so I can try to capture more things at night. Something I also want to mention, sent that uh, video of that scream slash roar, whatever it was the other night, I sent that in to Wes at uh, SasquatchChronicles.com, and he has put that on his webpage, SasquatchChronicles.com, for analysis and comment by people, and he is also going to see if he can uh, try to figure out what it is, and he also put the link to my YouTube page on there, which is very kind of my friend, because he is advertising for me, and I greatly appreciate that, which is why I'm also advertising for him. So... Um, he does uh, Sasquatch Chronicles will do he, they uh, have the, the listeners contact him and they tell their story okay so it's literally uh, people who have experiences being able to, to talk about it and tell their story and then Wes puts in some of the narration and questioning and does a really good job at it and it is great to listen to on a dark, stormy night, or if you're out on a camping trip, great stories that will literally give you goosebumps. Okay? So that's Wes at SasquatchChronicles.com. All right. Woods are active, and one of the reasons I'm even holding a little bit longer is because I keep having little noises happening. I got that eye shine over here again, and it just disappeared, like it just moved. So something's trying to keep an eye on me over here, but I can't catch what it is. So, uh, man, I got to review this to see if that 
sounded like a cat-like thing mauling something. Um, the other night when I was down here and did that video, I had that screech that sounded like it was a bobcat. So it, uh, I do believe we do got a bobcat down in this area. Those things will go after deer and several other areas. They are a pretty uh, tough hunter. Um, and if you heard that screech from whatever that was, it was totally unexpected. I was still talking. Um, I, know, I wasn't expecting to catch any noises, really. I thought maybe I might see a deer or two. Um, if you did catch that, I want you, I'd like you to put that in the comments as well. Okay. Once again, I need your guys' votes, the three flashlights, and I will uh, drop those in the description. And you can drop it in the comments of what you think. Which one would you pick if you were going into the deep, dark woods? Um, all right, so I will get this up and you guys will get the opportunity to interact and vote and God bless you. I greatly appreciate that. Please like, subscribe and share this around. Tell me your thoughts and opinions on that and your thoughts and opinions on the lights. Thank you for watching and God bless you.